hey guys thanks for watching today i am decorating my conservatory for spring and i thought i'll take you along with me i wanted to show you these pictures first because i wanted you to see how it looked before we did any work to it and this is what it looks like now we've had the wall plastered and painted and i absolutely love it now it's much more of a much nicer space <laughs> to use and we've added a fireplace and then i added this artwork at the top that i made yes i made that i'm happy with myself can you tell <laughs> um yeah so that's what i did and then we've got a big sofa and two small chairs in here initially we had two big sofas i got one out and got this in so yeah that's all the stuff i'm going to be using to decorate the, the this room um yes before you say it i'll say it first yes my two chairs don't match i know um i it's a long story i had the one on the left the lighter gray one i had it for a long time and then i decided that i wanted to put it in here it was in my living room and then i went to ikea and they only had that color so i've got the lighter one on sale on ebay once i sell it then i'll replace it to match the other one on the other side so initially i start by um trying out some cushions i wanted this room to be silver with um obviously with the gray in it so some lighter colors i just wanted it to be a light fresh space so i'm just kind of trying out see what works I've never been one to collect anything ever, ever, ever. But I love these vases. Don't you love these vases? I just think that I don't know what it is about them, but I really, really like them. And I like them when they're all grouped together. So, yeah, I got uh, quite a few of them from a charity shop, actually. And then I bought a few of them from TK Maxx and HomeSense. Uh, yeah, so I, um, I absolutely love them. I just love the blue and the white. It just looks really beautiful. Can I also mention that I actually reupholstered this so far, which I absolutely love it in this color. It's the same color as my dining chairs. I had some leftover fabric, so I thought, why not? I hated the, the color that it was before, so that's what I did. I'm just adding some cushions. I love decorating with cushions and throws. I'm sure you've noticed that if you've been watching my videos. They just they just make a room nice and soft and just i think they just make a room look livable i don't know what that means but to me that's how it just makes the space look really really livable and yeah so this is uh where we are this table i also got from a charity shop which i showed you guys how i got it to look this nice it was a brown table before and i color i painted the base I'm just adding a tray. I love decorating my coffee table with a tray. I think a tray creates a beautiful vignette for any coffee table. I love flowers like everybody does and but I always use artificial. I'm always saying that I love artificial flowers. They're just simple. You do them, you put them there. They stay exactly how you you did them on the first day. Um yeah, so that's uh what I used on this table is just some flowers, some candles and a few different things i love this white uh, pineapple i was thinking of using something else because i've had the pineapple for a long time but then i changed my mind i thought that it looked nice there i'm adding this blue and gray blanket on this armchair just to complement those vases on the table i'm adding this blanket behind this cushion just because I wanted a pop of color in the middle but I haven't been able to find a cushion that I like so still looking I always think the best place to shop is definitely in your home I'm just moving things around that big and uh, wide and wide vase with the greenery on top of it was sitting on my dining table over the Christmas period so now it's sitting in here and that little violin man was on my coffee table and now it's here. So always shop in your home first before you go spending money. Okay, I had my friend over helping me film this video and we were torn between this lamp or that lamp. 
and I wanted a small one she wanted a big one and then when we put them side to side I thought yeah the big one works better but I yeah so <laughs> the small one goes back where it was and yeah so I'm keeping this big white ones here I just really love them and I was very worried that because they're sitting on coffee tables that someone might break them but there's no one in my house that would do that so we're good so we're using the big ones I decided to play around with a few more accessories that I really thought would complement this space. I wanted a lot of white in here so I'm using this little white bunny obviously for Easter. And then my little bird that just never leaves this room. I really really love it. And then an A for our surname which came, I think it was black and then I spray painted it silver. And I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, let me show you what it looks like. Oh, look at that. I got it from uh, Donna Mills. Really, really beautiful. It was so cheap, £24. And yeah, it's like a candle holder and it swings in so many directions, as, as you can see. So you can make any shape you want. And I thought it would be perfect for the uh, fireplace. This is what the room looks like i absolutely love how it turned out i like how white and bright it is it was a really funny day you guys i wasn't sure whether to use lighting or not because the light just kept coming in and out but i hope you can see how beautiful and light and airy it looks that's really the look that i was going for i wanted a lot of white and this blue and the gray that was really i just wanted it nice and simple and really airy to welcome spring I really really love this space i think for now this is my favorite space in my whole entire house i really really love how it turned out i hope you enjoy it tell please comment below what your favorite piece is and tell me whether you like the gray light or the white light because we're still arguing about the lights so i would love to know which one you preferred whether you prefer the gray one or this white beautiful one that is here thank you so much for watching please do not forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't I would love to see you at my next one. Thanks so much. God bless. Bye.